What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Mount Chimney all the way up to Dra uh, Jagged Pass. Did a lot. We really did a lot. And now in this episode, we're going to be going straight for our fourth badge. I kind of want it right now because, well, there are certain Pokemon that I kind of want to, you know, start using. And quite possibly trade another one because... Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. There is a Pokemon I want to use. I don't know. We'll, we, we will find out. So, let's see. Here we are in uh, Lava Ridge Town. Not Fall Arbor Town. Lava Ridge. And this is home to the Lava Ridge Town Gym, which is, uh, you know, home of a... Uh, mm, 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 Flannery. Yes. The one with the fiery passion that burns. Mm, 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 mm. And yes, we are sure that we can actually take on this set, th this gym leader right here. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Draven? Lava Rage's gym leader, Flannery, uses fire type Pokemon. Her passion for Pokemon burns stronger and hotter than a volcano. Don't get too close to her. You'll burn, or you'll burn. Hose her down with water and then go for it. Okay, so there is a little bit of a issue going on right here, and that is that, you know, I don't necessarily have a pro a very good team for this badge. I mean, I could just trade in a Pokemon that, you know, could do the job, but I kind of want to kind of want to finish it right here because I did say after this badge, we will be getting two Pokemon that we kind of want to use and all that crud. And well, let's see. I think yes, we have the Soft Sand. So this will actually boost up Vesuvius' uh, attack just a little bit when we go in uh, and battle some Pokemon trainers. And Sage, you're gonna be right here, right behind everybody. And I, yeah, I did teach Sage Dig Attack just in case we needed to battle somebody. And well, let's go right here. I kind of feel like there was there was somebody like supposed to battle us right here. Okay, so here we are going into the holes. And yes, we will be getting attacked by somebody. See how the flames blaze wildly? They flare in anticipation with the of my win. Really? Okay. Okay, so here we go, taking on Kindler Jeff, and he will be coming with his Slugma. Thankfully, we are faster, and we do have the type advantage, so here we go, Water Gun Attack. And just like that, Mag uh, Slugma has been defeated. And, well, let's see, coming out with another Slugma. Let's just continue on right here, and just hose everybody down. Anywho, what was I trying to say right here? What was I trying to do? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, look at this. 16 episodes in, guys, and we already have four. We're about to have four badges right here. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's coinciding with my Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. We should already be far enough to where we are going to be able to, uh, to, to start trading some Pokemon here and there. Cannot wait for that. In the last few episodes, you guys probably already heard me say that I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of doing the Battle Frontier. I'm thinking about it. What I'm reading, I'm still not being convinced, but still, you know, we're, we're, we're going to get there. You know, I just needed a little push. If you guys want me to do the Battle Frontier and see, my, uh, see me get my butt kicked, comment down below. I will, I will try and do something about that. <laughs> if you guys don't know. All right. I've been doing, uh... I've been doing YouTube for about, well, this year now, 13 years. It's about to be 13 years. Holy crud. 13 years on YouTube. And, wow, there was supposed to be a double battle. No wonder. So, yeah, 13 years. And, holy crud baskets. I am getting, yeah. So, so for 13 years, I've been doing this whole thing. And many of you guys already, who have been with me since the very beginning, don't know how many of those are there. Uh, I was Draven XZ711, or Draven XZ711, for many of you guys out there. And uh, I did do the Battle Frontier at one point uh, as Draven XZ711, and let's let's just face it, it wasn't. It really wasn't the it really wasn't the best approach because you know I was a new YouTuber and all that stuff. Granted, it got a lot of views, but I did use cheats just to get through the whole Battle Frontier. Mainly because I kind of wanted to get the walkthrough done, and I kind of wanted to, you know, show what, what you guys can actually find there. 
Don't worry, guys. I learned my lesson. Of course. I've learned my lesson and all that crud. And, uh, well, uh, that won't happen here if we go into the Battle Frontier. This is, again, the reason why we're we're uh, playing these games uh, together that way, you know, bam, we can start using multiple Pokemon for everything, strategy and all that crud, and look at that, we're farting on them, yes, we, we're, we're farting on them, look at that, so, um, yeah, I've learned a lot in the last 13 years, guys, and I think one thing, one thing that stays true is the fact that people will call you out if you do, uh, if you do cheat on a game and all that stuff, um, some people, some people use it just to get through the game real quickly. Some people just, they just do it because they just do it and all that stuff. And uh, for me, I'm just showing you guys how to how to play this game. That way, you guys can you know have a, a another walk that it's entertaining. I know that there's not a lot of uh, PokeTubers out there left that you know are you know are doing the same thing for this long and all that crud. I just want to do this to entertain you guys. I'm not here to, I'm not here to prove a point that I'm the better you uh, PokeTuber. There's plenty of PokeTubers out there. Some that I watch and some that I, you know, I try emulating. After that way, you know, my my walkthroughs stay the same or not, or my walkthroughs stay, you know, relevant and all that stuff. And am I getting a knock? Hold on, just a sec. All right, I'm back, baby. So yeah, 13 years, guys. 13 long years. And yes, like I was saying, there are some PokeTubers that I watch that I try emulating uh, some of their styles into my walkthroughs. Uh, obviously, one of those PokeTubers that I that I admire is... Uh, I don't even know if he's still a PokeTuber, but it's uh, Chugga Conroy. If you guys have ever watched his walkthroughs, he does have a lot of Pokemon bios. I wish I could do that. But the thing is, you guys probably already noticed right here on the, on the, quite a few of the walkthroughs that I do. You know, like I often forget the names of Pokemon. I often forget their their you know their their ins and outs and all that stuff. And me, I'm not the type of person that goes in and out of what you know what these Pokemon do. I would love to do what he does, but you know, time and effort, a lot of stuff that you know that that is needed. And so far, you know, with the schedule that I have that I've put in place for myself, I think. What I'm doing right now is okay, and uh, you know, some a lot of you guys are actually agreeing with. And well, let's see. Yeah, so we're gonna have a battle here. And um, what else? What else? Yeah, and the fact that I'm doing I'm doing all these walkthroughs again, and putting in a, an extra thing like you know, brand new intro, outro, links, and all that stuff. Yeah, it takes me a while to actually get along with the, with the program right here, guys. Um, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> don't really read into the instructions uh, of YouTube real quickly. I know that there, there's an algorithm and all that stuff. Me, like I said, I'm not here to be popular or anything like that. I'm just here to, you know, just do do this as a hobby. And uh, which one is a double battle here? Good gravy. Here? Nope. Yeah, I was rugged. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, for 13 years, that has been the case. Lots of changes and, uh, you know... Battle Frontier is one of those games that you know uh, has always uh, has always been one of those things that you, many of you guys have wanted me to do, but I've always tried to ignore because it's like it's the Battle Frontier. It's there's some difficulty to it. But then somebody have uh, somebody has uh, pointed out that well you're playing Pokemon Stadium. That's kind of like the Battle Frontier except yeah like you know it's kind of like the Battle Frontier in a way. Except with the whole, you know, tricks and, you know, the, the gadgets in the, in the, that go into the Battle Frontier and whatnot. And, um, I was like, okay, well, shoot. I might as well do it, right? So, somewhere down the line, guys, we will be, we will be doing the Battle Frontier. And hopefully, just hopefully, it won't be as, uh, well, it won't be like the last time I did it as Draven XT711. That way you guys won't point that out and then just start calling me a, <laughs> a cheater and all that crud. Anywho, let's go right up here. And I'm still trying to find my way around here. If you guys remember, in Pokemon Emerald, the... The, uh, fall... Or not the fallover, the... Whatchamacallit? The... The... Wow. 
Lava Ridge Town gym is a little bit different because they incorporate more double battles than anything. And I think I picked correctly. Yes, I did. Okay. So there we go. Hello, wifey. It has been a while. Alrighty, so let's see. Let's go with a Sodi Pop. Nope, actually, everybody's ready to go. And I think I got this in the bag. Welcome! No way. Puny Trainer, how good to see you've made it here. I have been entrusted with the... No way. I am Flannery. I am the gym leader here. Uh, dare not underestimate me, though I have been leader only for a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall uh, demonstrate the cop moves we have honed in this land. Oh, damn. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're going to be taking on... Mm, 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 mm. Gym Leader Flannery. Oh, my God. She... I still think she's the hottest one out of all the gym leaders. Could be wrong. We did play Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah. And here we go. Water Gun Attack for Numo. And there we go. Alrighty, so Seablade, you're doing your thing right here. I'm enjoying it. And Sage grows to level 31 right here. And here comes a Slugma. So just be aware of something of this, guys. These Pokemon, such as Slugma, do have Flame Body. If you physically hit it, it will try and burn you. If you do get burned, it does cut your ha your attack in half when you're attacking the Pokemon. And uh, yeah, Camel Rupt is another Pokemon that you should be aware of. It is a very powerful Pokemon when it uses its uh, fire type attacks. It also is a ground type Pokemon, so just be aware of all that crud too. Look at that, Sea Blade sweeping through like a tidal wave. Oh yes. And Sage, you're just mooching off. So here comes Torkoal. Torkoal is a different story. Even though it's slow, it is a very, very defensive Pokemon. But guess what? Water Gun for the win. Oh wow, the defense has uh, increased. And here comes its Sunny Day attack. That right there will power up its fire attacks, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, you kind of need to, you, you kind of need to be careful with that. That's why we're going to be going with a supersonic right here. The next move we'll try to use is overheat. Very powerful, but it will, it will lower its, uh, special attack by two levels. So just be aware of all that stuff right there. Now, it's sunny day. It will cut water, water top attacks by a, by a little bit, so yeah. That's why we're confusing and we're, uh, uh, we're putting this guy, you know, we're making this guy wet and all that crud. Sounded so wrong. And, uh, oh my god. It is a very, very physical Pokemon right here. So here we go. Water gun attack. Come on! Oh, nearly defeats this guy. And this Pokemon has snapped out of confusion. And its overheat attack has faded or yeah it's, it's over it's overheat just it's missed into it well here comes a hyper potion from flannery right here this one will increase its uh, hp and i believe we're down to five turns and yes okay so since the sunlight has faded our water gun has returned it to its regular power right there so there we go super effective here comes another sunny day torkoal is trying to set up for its uh overheat attack and, you know, sometimes it's not a bad thing to use overheat or to use a... It's not, it's not a bad thing to get hit by overheat because, again, it won't be as powerful as before. And here we have a confused Pokemon. Bam. Okay, so this strategy is working. Alrighty. Sunlight, you suck. Here we go. Wing attack. There we go. And come on, hit yourself. Hurt yourself. Come on. Yes. And the sunlight is strong with this one right here. Okay, so let's finish this guy off. No! Flannery! Oh my god. So I think she used up both her water, uh, her hyper potions right here. Yeah, this Pokemon's gonna take a while. Sunlight is so strong. Yeah, a rain dance would actually work right here. So let's go with a water gun again. Come on! Let's go! And come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself, please. Yes! And the sunlight has faded. I think this is the opening we need. Let's go. Water gun attack. Let's go, Sea Blade. Oh, nearly defeats him. And that confusion has gone off. And here comes his overheat attack. This attack 
Oh my god. But look at that. Its special attack has harshly fell. Okay. But because of that, she does equip her Torkoal with a White Herb that returns its status. And that means that... Well, what that means is that, you know, its overheat is good for one more attack. So we're going to be using Vesuvius. Let's go with the Magnitude right here. And it's Magnitude Age. I am throwing out that peace sign right now. Look at this. Mm. That's how you do it. Strategy, mother lovers. Strategy. Okay. And look at that. Oh, I guess I was trying too hard. I, I've only recently become a gym leader. I try too hard to be someone I'm not. I have to do things my natural way. If I don't, my Pokemon will be confused. Thanks for teaching me that. For that, you deserve this. Yes. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. Oh yeah, so you guys already know what that means. Oh yeah, we're gonna be using some Pokemon. If you have the Heat Badge, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in trades from other people, will obey you completely. And it lets Pokemon use the HM move Strength outside of battle. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about it taking it. There we go. Look at that, TM50. Okay. That TM50 contains Overheat. That move inflicts serious damage on the opponent, but it also sharply cuts the special attack of the Pokemon using it if n I or yeah. It might not be suitable for longer battles. And yes, we get our phone number because yes. Mm -hmm. We are that awesome. Your power reminds me of someone. Oh, I know! You battle uh, you battle like Norman, the gym leader of Battleburg. Uh, you don't say. Okay, well. Yes, finally guys, we got ourselves our fourth badge, and right after we win, well hello there. Draven! Long time no see! Oh, while I visited the hot springs, you got the Lava Ridge badge? You might you must have collected a good Pokemon. No, I believe you raised some. I guess it would be okay for you to have this. And we grabbed ourselves the Go Go Goggles. Or the Gug Goggles. With those Go Goggles, you'll have no trouble getting through the desert near Route 111. But wow, Draven, challenging gems? You're trying hard because you don't want to lose to me, I bet. Draven, I think I, w I, think I should challenge your dad, the Petalburg Gym. See you again. Whatever you say, homegirl. Okay, alrighty. So. That is four badges, guys. Four friggin' badges in all, and that means that we can finally use two Pokemon that we have in our PC. Yes, we do. Alrighty. But, in the meantime, enjoy this episode right here, guys. In the next episode, yes, we will be going into the desert, doing some stuff right there. Uh, we do need to get a... We do need to get a certain uh, item to go through that desert, so I'll be right back with you in the next episode. Yeah, you guys thought. But yes, I will be back in the next episode. We're going to be going through the desert. Then we're going to be doing some other stuff right there too. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, there it is. Boom. Our heart button's right there. Make a donation. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.